looking at three minutes past 10 o'clock, going to the phones and speaking with one of the good friends, of course, over at SNU, the Associate Dean for the Student Success, Miss Misty Jaggers. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm trying to wake up, Misty. I need yeah. some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I need it's a little kick like this a morning. Oh, my gosh. It is. But you know what? Like We skipped Monday, so I'm not going to complain at all. That's right. That's right. No complaining today. But, of course, as I mentioned, you know, the Associate Dean for the Student Success, you know, one of our colleagues just, you know, got off the phone and she was saying that she knows a 73-year-old that's, you know, going back to school and trying to make, you know, his dreams and pursue his uh, further education and, and doing great things uh, among the community, of course, and making his mark, even at that age. And it's never too late to go to school. So, right. so I kind of wanted you to kind of touch on that because I know that over at Southern uh, SNU that you guys actually do offer and as well as ensure the success of all of your students. So how can you guarantee that to our listening audience this morning? Yeah, well, we know, you know, once we admit a student and they start their coursework, really it's up to them to do the hard work and get to that finish line of graduation. But we believe that it's our responsibility to make sure that we have all of the resources in place for them um, to set them up to be successful. And so, you know, we serve both traditional students, so students, you know, primarily fresh from high school students, and then our non-traditional students, so like your 73-year-old friend that's going back to school, and um, we provide a variety of services ranging from, you know, residence life services really for our, you know, primarily traditional students up to disability services for all of our students and um, our vet center. I know you spoke with Dr. Montgomery a few weeks ago about our vet center, so you're up to mm-hmm. speed on that, but um, we have a comprehensive offering of services to our non-traditional students, and so the Center for Student Success really serves as the home for transitional services, academic engagement services, academic accountability and improvement, mm-hmm. tutoring, and then student advocacy, and then our disability services. And it's almost like you're reading my mind because actually that was going to be my next question is if you can kind of give us a snapshot of, you know, what does that look like, you know, as far as transitional services for the adult students? Yeah, so our transitional services for our non-traditional students looks a little bit different than our traditional students just because, of course, their stage of life is very different. But um, for our non-traditional services, we really focus on writing services for them. So we know, you know, academic writing is really different than professional writing even. So in our day-to-day lives, we get caught up in sending emails and quick communication at work. And mm-hmm. um, the academic writing that our programs are going, going to require is really different than that. And so we offer support in that, some, um, you know, uh, some workshops for writing and then some support with that. And then, of course, our disability services. Sure. You know, even with that said, I'm just I'm pretty sure, you know, when anyone hears about furthering their education, especially right after high school, you know, it's really easy to fall into the you know, this is overwhelming. You're looking at the overall picture. This is going to be the next four years of my life. That seems like forever. How do you get those young people or even some of those transitional students to look at it and say, you know what, it might be four years, but if you really think about it, the years are kind of flying by. But just to kind of walk them through the process and letting them know it's just really one day at a time. That's all you can do. Yeah. You know, I often say to our students, whether they're our traditional students or even some of our adult students that I get to work with, that um, the time is going to pass anyway. So, you know, four years, you're going to you're gonna be somewhere in four years or you're going to be somewhere in two years, so you might as well um, be working towards something during that time, but really helping them to break it down into smaller segments and set some goals for those smaller segments so that they can see um, that it's just continual progress that we need them to make. We don't need them to get to the finish line right away. They're just taking those steps slowly and surely towards that. But even with that said, I mean, even with the counselors, I'm going to pull that back because, of course, you know, life happens. I mean, of course, you know, especially as an adult and, you know, I mean, really just for anyone. But, I mean, even in that, do you have any counselors on hand that can kind of help them and guide them through the process? Because, you know, sometimes schoolwork might kind of fall back a little bit or maybe a ball gets dropped or whatnot. And then all of a sudden you start not showing up for classes or turning in homework or missing tests or whatnot. And it just seems like it's hard to get back on track. Yeah, so that's one of actually our great resources that we have um, in our in our non traditional programs. So for our working adults, um, their faculty that they're you know leading those classes for six weeks at a time, um, they are 
responsible for really tracking their students during that time period, and those students are their students. And if they see a student start to struggle, then they quickly submit what we call is um, an alert in our system to say, you know, maybe this student missed class or didn't get an assignment in on time or they got their assignment in but it wasn't the quality of work we were looking for, and they submit that alert, and one of our advisors in that area receives that alert and quickly reaches out to that student to try to figure out what's going on and how they can support them. And so um, we really try to make sure that happens before, um, before we get too far down the road and the student finds himself in a spot where they're overwhelmed and it's, it's too much of a challenge to re-engage. Sure. And I feel like, you know, even in our conversations, and I never want to leave or single anyone out, but I kind of wanted to talk about the disability service for a minute. And, you know, how does that work? Can you kind of walk us through that process for those that night that might need, you know, additional services in that area? Yeah, so our Disability Services focuses on their mission of providing and coordinating support services that enable students with disabilities to have the opportunity to receive equal access to all aspects of their experience here at SNU. So, you know, a disability could be really, you know, a, a learning disability, um, a and you know physical emotional disability any any number of different things so it doesn't it's not necessarily you know somebody that's blind or deaf it might be that but it's also things that sometimes go unrecognized sure. um they're not visible not always visible disabilities it is important to note we don't force or require any student to disclose a disability to us but we are available to provide support services if and when students feel like they need um, their assistance we work closely with our national organization um, for higher education and disability to make sure we're in compliance with federal regulations but really for us it's important to concentrate concentrate on more than compliance. We want to make sure that we're providing an environment of nature, um, an environment in nature of compassion and caring. So, um, you know, sometimes those disabilities can get in the way of students really meeting their educational goals. Mm -hmm. And our responsibility in the Disability Services Department is to make sure that we're mitigating those disabilities with accommodation so that those students have equal access to all the same opportunities. Even for those that are transfer students, let's say that, you know, maybe it's been a while since they've been in school and they've lost a copy of their transcript. How would they go about obtaining that copy? Yeah, you know, we we really would support them in getting that. So sometimes it feels like there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through to get access to that, and Mm -hmm. you have to know the right people to talk to, and you have to be persistent in getting somebody on the phone if it's been a number of years. And so, um, you know, we would help them research that last, you know, the last institution they were at, who do we need to talk with and getting that information, and then, you know, walk them through the steps of that and be a support to them as they work through it. You make it sound so easy. Oh, well, it's it's not Hi. always easy, but that's why our <laughs> services are really important because we're sure. trying to, um, you know, really guide them and support them through that process because we do know that it's not always easy. With that said, you know, and we are going to wind it down. I was, I was going to wind it down a little bit, but I just wanted to know, how long is the process of enrolling? What all do I need? Someone's listening right now, and they're saying, you know what, this sounds like the answer for me. This is something that I've been praying about. I've been seeking direction, and maybe this is it. So if I'm going to contact Misty today, is there anything that I need to have in my hands as I'm coming up and I'm visiting you over at SNU? Yeah, you know, it's different really for all of our programs and we have programs starting at all different times, especially in that, in that, in those non-traditional programs. So it's hard to give a real concrete answer on that. Okay. But I, what I would say is that we're ready to really help your listeners find the right program for them, the timing, the fit that really, you know, helps them meet their career goals. Um, and they can contact our admissions team directly okay. at, um, 405- Four nine one six three three two, or go to snu.edu forward slash snu for adults. Um, and that, you know, just taking that first step. And then, again, there's going to be people that are going to guide them through every step after that. So they don't have to have it all figured out before they make that phone call. Um, they just need to make that phone call or, you know, click on that link um, and get that first step started. And then we're going to walk them through every step from there. Okay, and then, of course, lastly, I mean, someone was just asking, you know, going back, you know, when you were saying providing uh, in regards to the disability services, what if a student wants the services but they're embarrassed? 
Yeah, you know, we would say, just come and talk to us. So we all understand the need and really the requirement for privacy. Mm -hmm. um, so we have face-to-face -face meetings with students. They can, you know, they could come in at any time and just say, I'd like to talk with somebody in the Center for Student Success. This is what's going on with me, and mm -hmm. I think that maybe I qualify for services and for some extra support. And then, you know, we'll do an individual interview with them to really figure out, you know, how is their disability impacting them? How is it getting in the way of them meeting their goals? And then set up a personal plan for them and then give them all the steps that they need to really navigate those conversations with their professors, too, because that's one of the most intimidating pieces of it. So how do I talk to a faculty member about this? And we really coach them through that. Sounds great. That's Misty Jaggers, the Associate Dean for the students over at Southern Nazarene University. Listeners are listening. To find that right program, how can they get in contact with you or the admissions team? Again, that phone number, 405-491-6332 or snu.edu forward slash snu for adults. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's Misty Jaggers. Have a good one, and we'll do this again next week. Great. Thank you. You're welcome.